Well, Florida is the lightning capital of the United States, and in our wet season, we of course see lots of it here in South Florida. But not all thunderstorms are created equal. Chief Meteorologist Ivan Cabrera tells us what it takes to create that roaring thunder. Well, living in South Florida, you've likely noticed that some of our thunderstorms have a lot more lightning and thunder than others. There's three reasons for this. Three ingredients, instability, moisture, and cheer in the atmosphere. And we'll talk about each one here. Instability, one of the most important. That's temperature decreasing rapidly with height, especially in the lower to mid levels of the atmosphere. When that instability is high, you get updrafts that become more intense in the developing thunderstorm. In that thunderstorm updraft, the deeper that becomes, the faster it rises and the deeper it rises into the atmosphere and when that happens you get some very cold temperatures up there and you get the top of the thunderstorm freezing when you have that differential with cold air freezing and then warmer air in the bottom of the storm that creates what we call that charge differential and you need that to happen to start getting the lightning process going what's also important is to have a lot of moisture without it you really can't get into a significant thunderstorm that moisture allows for the updrafts to be stronger. You get a lot more turbulence in the thunderstorm and those charges uh, can really start getting going and build to the point where when you get a discharge, not only do you get frequent lightning, but sometimes intense lightning as well. And the other thing we lastly look at is shear, and that is the difference in speed and direction with wind, and that can tilt the thunderstorm, allowing the updraft and the downdraft to separate, and that allows for the thunderstorm to keep going and keep uh, producing uh, that lightning. So as we always say when you hear thunder roar go indoors.